Welcome to the Blue Cup in the Attic. No portion of the Blue Cup in the Attic may be used without the expressed written consent of Kimmy Wyatt. Hello, hello. You guys, first thing I want to say is um, my I, just as I press the record button, my the back of my the tongue just got this this nasty taste in it. Like um, not like I'm going to throw up, but like. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, like, um, like I swallowed something, not bitter, but just something that's just sitting there in the back of my throat. And that's amazing that that happened because today, um, I am going to school you guys as usual, uh, uh, with the blue cup in the attic on some in-depth information, which will explain Further to those of you who are disbelievers that this is even happening to target in, targeted individuals, for those of you who don't believe in God, for those of you who are straddling the fence, you don't know um, what is going on. Um, you've been knowing this person for years and all of a sudden they they're losing it, you know, and I'm not talking about agnostics, you know, but also agnostics as, as agnostics as well. Um, I am going to talk about the three types of people on the planet when it comes to their relationship with targeted individuals. A targeted individual, by the way, is an individual, and there's many of us who are targeted. Go to YouTube, look at videos. I mean, you get you some popcorn, you're gonna be there a minute. <laughs> okay, you're gonna be there a while. Um, days and days and days and days and days of information. Um, but, I'm one of these types of people I love to learn, which is another reason why I'm targeted and not the dumbest cookie in the cookie jar. Another reason why I'm targeted. Got a lot of information. There is another reason um, um, as well as sexual um, um, uh, and I'm, which in which I'm going to talk about demonic spirits. Um, first of all, first of all, um, a couple of definitions and things I want you to look up also on besides targeted individual is perps, P-E-R-P-S. Um, Gang stalking, and some people put it all together. Some people will separate gang and stalking, electronic stalking, and group stalking. Group and gang are the, the same thing. And uh, there I go biting my tongue again. I haven't bitten my tongue, which in, in the back, I'm telling you, in about a week. And started doing this video or doing this video, and now I'm biting the back of my tongue. Um, you guys, please know this. From the beginning of time and since people have said it's the end of the world there were even uh um, um 2000 your, your computers had to be 2000 compliant you know in the year 2000 and because the computers um that were made prior to that were supposedly not going to come on to not totally not true in some cases um, they were not going to do this and do that. Okay. We were past that. You've also in over time had people, false prophets, um, the guy on a tragedy, which I just recently mentioned, please look up that and also watch that movie guy Um, and, and that's where this guy had about nine. Well, not about, it was 900 plus followers and he, uh, coerced them into, um, Drinking this liquid, I don't remember what was in the liquid, but I think it had acid in it because um, God told them to do it or something like that. Very, very good movie. Um, and and um, we are today in spiritual warfare, even more so than ever, you guys. Um, when and I can attribute it basically to the new high tech stuff that's going on. When you can have cameras that can look through walls, marble, ceramic, you have gone to a level of technology that man has never imagined only when watching Superman, <laughs> except for only when watching Superman or, or referencing Superman, because Superman was the only one who could fictitious. Well, you know, he was fake you know, do something like that. Okay. Okay. And, 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 and we, we looked at him, we let it go. And there's been Superman movies, um, on, on the, the big screen, um, 
over the last 20, 25 years. And so I haven't, I don't know of one that's been here lately, but super friends, you know, the, 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 the heroes, Superman was the only entity besides God. I mean, come on, you know, that's a given that we knew of that could look through things. Now that technology is here in the forefront and it is available at anyone's um, disposal. Okay. Coupled along with that technology or downgraded from that technology is uh, that's, that's the heightened technology is the regular technology. This technology is, uh, you know, where you can see through walls and see pens, for instance, the, there's, there's products on the market as I speak today that where you can, with, with cameras on top and you can put it up to a, put them up to a wall and look through and see supposedly that the purpose was <laughs> to see leaks, you know, pens and, um, I just did a video or I did a video and I've got to correct this in a video. I couldn't tell you which one it is, but I was mentioning, mentioning the same thing. And I said, pin holes. I meant to just say pins. So, <laughs> but I'm going over all of my videos, um, by the way, to on YouTube to make sure that I said what I meant to say. And if there are corrections, it'll at where the text is posted at the top, you will see before watching colon. And I will go into what corrections there are per video. And, um, if any, Okay. Also join the YouTube channel. YouTube channel is uh, full of 265 plus 65. I know definite videos where you can see me in action. I'm uh, the blue cup in the attic and the blue cup in the attic circumstance or evidence are not the only things I do. I do a multitude of things, recipes and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Everything is in a playlist so that you can follow the playlist and, um, and keep up with me, you guys. And and one of the things, speaking of spirit, spiritual warfare, you will find with me is that I don't let this get to me. Uh, once I scratched my head in uh, curiosity, I knew something was wrong. I know me. You know, I knew something was going on. Like, what is going on? You know, and once um, a, a bless, an individual blessed me via social media to let me know what I am going through uh, via target telling me I'm a targeted individual. I, I, I would love to meet that person because I had no clue. It was, it was from God. God had that person post via my post that I put. Um, I, I think I commented on someone's post. I don't think it was my, my post or whatever, but I commented on, um, someone's post and and then uh, an idiot commented on reply to my comment. But behind that was a very, very uh, special person in my life that I don't even know who this person is, but they commented also and let me know I was a targeted individual with a link to a YouTube video for which I watched and went from there watching other videos. And I said, oh my God, this is my life, man. This is, this is, this is it. This is it prior that I told my prior, excuse me, to that I told my aunt, you know, aunt blank and her, her last name's not, her, her first name's not blank. I'm just, that's personal. I said, for some reason, every time I try to build my businesses back up and make, or make money, something always happens. This was just last year. You know, I had been noticing it before last year, but this was last year when I had this conversation with her and we brought it up again this year. She said, you said that. I said, yeah, what, what is going on? You guys, one of the goals of targeting an individual, I'm not going to go into the other goals, is to stop, totally halt, stop that person's life. Now, that'll be all of the goals, but to halt them from making any money, literally cut them short. Well, they will have to depend on people, systems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, to do, to survive. Okay. They do not want them to gain independency because when you gain independency or get it back, you can do things. Money is the root of all evils, but it is ne it is necessary. So when you have money in your hands, um, living here on the planet, you can maneuver. You can go get a house built right on the top of a mountain or, or not on the top of a mountain, but on the top of a, a cliff or something. If you have that type of money and you can have privacy. 
something they do not want you to have. The goal um, is to not, not the not the goals of your life, but one of their personal goals is to be in your business, you know, to watch you at all times you are targeted you're special now let me explain something to you guys when i say special targeted individuals are usually empaths and there's another word e-m-p-a-t-h-s empath or you can do the plural version and put the s on it please look that up as well empaths are people sent by god okay on the planet they were born rather they weren't just dropped down out of the sky. They were born and and blessed by God. Uh, some some people would think it's not a blessing, but they were born to warn W.A.R.N. people of things in general, but also born to warn people in the end of, of the end times. The the uh, the Bible states that no man will know when the end times when the end time is 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 at hand, but they will know inputs when it's near two different things. Inputs will never know when the world will come to its demise. However, they like the fowl of the earth, I believe. Um, and I have my reasons for believing that and the animals, but mostly the fowls of the earth will have um, an inclination as to it is near. Please get your life together. They're warners. Satan does not like inputs. OK, and with being an empath, you will have to suffer being a targeted individual. OK. I hope you guys understand that uh, when I say special people, please don't think that empaths, targeted individuals or well, empaths are special in the sense that they're better than everyone. No, I will say a cursing word in a minute. Empaths are just warners. They are normal people who God has chosen to warn people of things, okay, that, you know, private or whatever um, um, things, but to more so warn people, well, to warn people of evil things, for instance, I could not figure out for the life of me, um, just, th just ch chalking it up to my smartness, no bragging, why I was one of the people, if not the only person who realized when Microsoft would have an exploit. <laughs> I'm like, Hey, hey, you guys, it's got, there's got, it's an exploit. Microsoft still didn't say anything. They didn't know. All of a sudden people, I mean, people are looking at my post. I know this, no one's liking the post or whatever. And, um, you may have one or two people like it, but three months later, Microsoft internet Explorer, for example, just internet Explorer started with XP for me. I didn't even know anything about, um, what I know now, you guys, I am totally advanced. But at the time, even though I took computer science in college, computer science, as well as as poli sci, political science, computer science back then, I will be 50 next year, you guys. So <laughs> back then when I took it, it was all about bits and bytes, bits and bytes. What what has to come together to make your computer produce your keyboard produce the letter L? That's what it was about. There was no internet, uh, although later uh, um, years there was AOL. And I'm hearing that the internet has been around since the 1800s. I don't believe it, but okay. Probably not in the sense, definitely not in the sense that I'm thinking. And I'm not even talking about AOL, which is which which I feel was the first company to come out with um, with with the ability to to bring the world together. OK, you guys, for some of you will, will remember those CDs that used to get on everyone's nerves that would come in the mail. OK, <laughs> until you finally great marketing strategy, tra 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 strategy, however, because uh, as with any marketing marketing strategy, you keep putting something in someone's face. Chances are they're going to go for it. And it did work. OK, OK. Um, but no, let me stress this. Empaths are not special in the sense that they're better than anyone. They're special in the sense that they've been chosen. OK, no bragging, because if they had their way, they would want to be removed from the situation. But I take that that line back because empaths are chosen because they are very strong individuals. You would have to to change an empath empath's mind about God and 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 whom he is is not going to happen. 
I was going to say would rarely happen. It's not going to happen. They are God fearing people. Now, here's the deal. There's a lot of God fearing people on the planet. They go to church all the time, although they may be fake and faking it. I don't go to church, but I'm an empath. But I grew up in the church and I, I love the Lord. God, God is not concerned with the church. He's concerned with your relationship with him. Uh, when it comes to being an empath, what relationship you will have with him. I have a great relationship with God. I know how he works. I know that his 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 um, thought process is totally different from man's. I do know that man will come up with ideas, ideals or ideas of what God, how God is. And, and, and it's really totally different. And empaths understand that. Empaths, God has chosen different people, different races uh, to be empaths. But he and, and that's throughout the Bible, you know, that pe people are people with God. He has no favor of person. OK, if you're doing evil things and I just posted uh, a video up on one of my collections, my 34 collections uh, called the Blue Cup in the Attic on a Google Google platform. Um, this video, I run across this video several times. OK, and I finally posted it and I put in the text. Uh, of that video, uh, the post that God is now letting me see um, my targeted individuals getting what's due to them. Uh, most of the targeted individuals, you guys, I hadn't mentioned this before, their vehicles crash, messed up, all kinds of dents in them. He let me see that where I moved from, from them, all kinds of stuff. But sadly, one of the, uh, Perps, uh, but actually this person is, at, or is over the perps, has lost his son in an accident. I was able to see that, you guys. Vehicle, black SUV turned all the way over and I passed by it and I looked with someone else. Okay. Yeah, lost his child. In a car accident, the same day I called to inquire about a property. He was the owner, he and his wife, I'm sure Mary, was the owner of that property, you guys. That was after I saw the accident. What, what's, what's the correlation? I mean, what's, what's, what? God will do things, you guys, and let you see things that, and I, I already knew this. <laughs> I've been knowing it even before realizing I've been, I'm being spied on. God will let you see your enemy fall because what the enemies don't realize is that God is in control. I also want to say something else, you guys, before I forget uh, and go into the topic. Please know that just be aware <clears throat> if you are targeted. And you're unaware and you're just finding out what, what's going on with you. Hip, hip, hooray to you. It's going to be a journey until the day you die. Be prepared for that. Uh, but don't lose your sense of humor if you have it. Don't uh, lose lose sight of whom you are. Okay. Be yourself, which is one another reason, reason why empaths are chosen. We don't put on flaws. We don't sit there and, and it is what it is. Okay. Um. I mean, not put on flaws, put on, put on, on shows, I meant to say. Um, but please be aware, targeted individuals. And I will go into this as I go into the topic. Everyone, whether you've known them for years or just met them two years ago, 30 days ago, be aware of people and be aware of your surroundings. Although not listed as one of the main goals of being targeted, but, but it's, it's subliminal. It's, it is to wipe you out, but it doesn't state to kill you. Okay. It literally doesn't state if you look at some of the videos to kill you, but what is wiping out, but killing you, um, to get rid of you, to kill you. Okay. Any kind of way to get rid of you, whether, whether physically or any kind of way to get rid of you, your mind, you don't have your mind. You're basically dead anyway, basically. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Any kind of way to, this is one of the goals as well, um, to make you go crazy. Um, um, kill that's That's one of them to kill someone, you know, do something detrimental that would make you just totally get wiped out. You are in prison for the rest of your life. You are gone. Satanic. 
So please be careful of people that and start analyzing, by the way, please let me finish my sentence. Please be careful of people that you have known, know, and just met. Okay. Known being for years, no being, being like two years and just met. Okay. Please be aware of these people. Um, Satan, like God uses everyone and Satan uses anyone available. Okay. So you're going to see people that are really not humans. These last days, they really aren't human. They are, they are human in human form, kids, teenagers, but they're not human. They're really not. Keep in mind, keep in mind, you guys, evilness has been here since the planet has been here since God created Satan. Okay. However, when you find people going to a level that is over the top evil, spying on people, I know my people are spying on me. Now, not my people in the sense that they're down with me, but I know my people that are spying on me are spying on me. Let me, let me put it that way. They're spying on me. Here's the deal. They know I know. Now, in the normal realm of things, they're fully aware that I know. Just was just slept in a closet last night in a chair that I pushed double door closet. OK, push the chair and where the, where the back would hit the wall, just pushed it in there, a, a, a high back chair. OK, pushed it in there. And, and although it, it would have fit in there with the door closed, it wouldn't have fit in there with, with my with me sitting in it because my legs would have been hit. You guys, please be aware that um, these. Oh, well, let me finish that. Oh, you can hear them in the walls. I'm in my closet and, 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 and you hear stuff, you know coming down the walls oh, I'm not and please don't think I'm blood coming down the walls water coming down the walls no you the equipment let me put it that way okay all right this is going on you guys and these people live right above me hadn't done anything to them um, which is the last thing I want to say before I go into this another thing you guys please that's coupled along with the last thing I said please don't think that all these people are your friends or that they're normal these people are, um, uh, um, let me finish. These people are coming in the forms of humans and, um, very, and demonic. Satan is sending, I never thought I would be talking about this, you guys, this kind of stuff, trust me, but finding my finding, I'm good at it. That's another, th another thing, you know, whatever you do, you are, you're going to excel in it and be over the top inputs, you know, but these people that are targeting you, are in most cases not human especially the evil 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 ones they're demonic satan has sent them here or um to in the form of humans to interact with you okay he sent them here to interact with you and here's why the people that are spying on me know that i'm aware of it they know that um it's getting on my nerve well well not getting on my nerves because i love it i love it now it's just it's just amazing and which which i don't love it i wish i had a, uh let me rephrase that i don't love it like i want to be watched but that but i I'm ex i accepted it uh, i'm not gonna live my rest of my life being spied on in other words it pisses them off that i have settled because they want to watch you all the time and see how you react to being spied on evil okay and you may hear my keys. I actually have <laughs> some keys and some change in my um, in my um, uh, pockets and I'm moving it around. OK, so just in case you hear that. So please know, you guys, that these people um, are not human in most cases. The ones that are human, uh, I'm going to go into detail about them. OK, also. Um, I'm going to describe three types of people and they're going to be described as raw, well done and overcooked. Okay. Now the description of these people are the brains and their reaction or how they are on the planet. Raw people are people that are evil. They are raw, like raw meat. They do not, as they said, they say satanic, you know, these are the demonic spirits that are fake or even real, real people. No, not, not, not real demonic, real people being demonic spirits, 
demonic spirits and or evil people that are human, you know, human people. They're raw. Okay. Well done people. And this is going to sound contradictory. You would think well done out of these three would be someone that is like an empath, a uh, targeted individual. No, a well done person is a person that is unsure. These are your um, friends, family, um, that they know you, but they are wondering what's going on. These are people that may not be either of those people, just someone you may know in passing, an associate who can turn on you in a minute. One minute their mind is thinking this way and the next minute their mind is thinking something totally opposite. Two-faced, okay, to sum it up. A two-faced person, okay? They, they, they know you or they know uh, or they're around you, hanging around you. Either way, you have some kind of interaction with these people, regardless of what it is, either daily or or um, um, sporadically, okay? You have some kind of interaction. These people are unsure. Uh, they, they go to church, most of them, but they're unsure, and I will get back to them. The last people are called overcooked. These are your empaths, okay? Targeted individuals. Please don't get it twisted. Targeted individuals, whether they're empaths or not, the one thing is true. They believe in God. I have yet to meet a targeted individual or read a targeted individual. Now, there is a fake dude. I, as I mentioned, let me take that back. He is not a truly targeted individual because he get he harps on targeted individuals in YouTube videos. He will dislike your videos. He will post comments um, calling you witches and a witch or, or saying all kinds of stuff. I'm finding that it's 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 he's satanic because. Um, you would think he was being prejudiced at some point, but no, there are a lot of people complaining about him uh, are on YouTube. And I will say this to people who are making videos with his name in it. You are giving him uh, props. Please remove any videos you have. And as some of you targeted individuals will know exactly whom I'm talking about. Remove any videos that you have with this person's name in it because he is, he, you're granting him access, okay, to other people and you're granting other people access to him, which is making his subscriptions go up on YouTube and you're making, because everyone on YouTube is not on the same page, there are evil people on the planet and these people, because they're evil, are migrating over to his page, okay, either, either just being evil or out of curiosity and they're subscribing, I will never do a video, I, even though I've mentioned him in a video, I will never do a video with his name within the video or in the title, okay? Um, you're advertising for him. And I know that this is helping you out if you have a lot of subscribers and you know, you're getting paid by YouTube, but you're also um, God-fearing and God's child and you need to remove those videos. There's other ways to make videos and get paid to replace those videos. Please do not use this individual's name, okay? You're giving Satan props, all right? So, um, and that's your well done people. Not, that's not your well done people. Well, well, no, they're, they're, they're well, they're um, over processed, overcooked rather, you know, but, but, but I, I went in a little further. Okay, raw. Um, well, no, 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 no. Well done people. The people you need to fear the most, being a targeted in, in, uh, individual, um, an empath, um, and a targeted individual, and or empath or well, empath and or targeted individual. Let me say that. Are the well done people. These are people that, on the surface, seem okay. On your team, someone you can tell what's going on in your life with being targeted. Someone that has a listening ear. Most of them will listen. But they are very opinion, opinionated people about what's going on with you as well. You have to be careful, you guys. These are the people that Satan 
is grabbing. He know he he knows he can't grab um the raw people. He already has them. And he knows he can't grab the overprocessed people. And I, I'm referencing food and the, the likeness of food, by the way, if you haven't noticed. He can't grab overprocessed people because those are your infants and your targeted individuals. He cannot mess with them. Very, very strong people. You cannot sway them to go to Satan's side of the fence. Okay? You cannot. Even if they are on the brink of joining the perps and, and they, they're at the very end, they're going to say no. That's because, that's because they're human. Okay? And it's probably taking its toll on them. Please keep your chin up. I'm going to say it right now. Okay? Sometimes it's, it seems easier to just give in. And that's what Satan wants you to do. He wants you to give in. Please don't. Know that there's a new day. There's a new minute. You may be thinking this this right now. And then in the next minute, something will come along. And a blessing, not in the form of something physical, but a thought blessing. Where you say, you know what? I'm not going to let this get to me. I'm going to listen to Kimmy, what she's saying, you know? Yeah. And it's not about me. Just, just go to just, just, just change your, your mind your mind tuned as in your mind's attitude about whatever's going on with you and never, never give in. Okay. But these individuals are, um, both demonic spirits and humans and real humans. They're demonic spirits in the form of humans and they are real blood having humans. Okay. That's what makes them the most critical people you need to watch. Um, there was a time when I was growing up or in my life, and you know, and you, if you found someone paranoid, you know, oh, she just paranoid. He's paranoid. You know, he, he thinks. And there are individuals. It's a mental Ill, illness. Illness. They are paranoid. Please don't get it twisted. Targeted individuals. Uh, now, um, empaths. Let me say this. Empaths or um, even though this is how can I, how can I say this? God chooses us all as empaths, so I'm not going to say an empath could not be an, a, a paranoid individual, and here's why. Because God chooses us all, and just because they're paranoid does not mean that they're a targeted individual. I hope you guys will get that. That's why I said and or earlier. Let me say that again. Empaths are chosen by God. They're strong people. However, that does not mean that they are a targeted individual. I'm both of them. Okay. That does not mean at all that they're targeted. They're just, they're, I hate to say just because it's a, you know, somewhat of a blessing. And I say somewhat of a blessing because you have to take on a lot of stuff when you're an empath, but it is a blessing from God to be an empath. He has chosen you um, to be an empath. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean you're targeted. Okay. Targeted individual individuals, however, are not necessarily empaths. Um, but let me, well, let, let me, how did I say, let me see if I said that right. Targeted individuals, yes, are usually empaths who are warners. You know, this is what they do. They, they, they're targeted because they're warners. You know, there's, they're, they're, you know, people, people are, are evil and recognize that that is, that person has something that's a little different than what they have. Okay. That person is. They're, they're strong minded. Okay. In other words, very strong in all aspects of, of their life. You cannot sway them. All right. But these, um, well done people be careful of them. You guys be very careful. They're going to come in, in the form of humans or real humans, but you have got to be careful with them because they're going to come around you. I just left out of the computer room because two women came in there all of a sudden and uh, one of them, when I got up, I had, I had seen one, one was at the computer and, <laughs> and wondering why this, this, that, and the other was happening with her phone. The other one, um, that was later. The other one, um, every time I looked up, she was looking at me. But when I got ready to get my stuff, I just got up and left out. When I got my stuff and turned around, the one that was sitting at the computer, um, because the other one had come over to join her to find out what was going on with something. I don't know. Um, um, but but she, she, I heard her say the one that I had my back to. Something was going on with her phone. Now, they could have been innocent, but I'm making a point. You cannot take anything for granted. Okay. You cannot take anything for granted. Any human or human formed 
perfect for granted. They're going to look normal to you. Okay. And I'm going to say this again. Um, there, Satan has sent uh, those who are not human, uh, but, but look human because here's, here's the deal. An evil person that is a regular human has the ability to do what? Change their mind to choose evil or good. But a satanic person, and this is, this is going to be how you're going to find out if they are demonic or regular human. A satanic person, and they are going to straddle the fence. One minute they're going to be on your team and the next minute they're not. All works of Satan, if they are um, either demonic spirits or um, their mind is, they're, they're confused. You know, they don't know like what's really going on. Okay. But a, a regular old evil person has the ability to change their mind. And some of the evilest people on the planet um, or have changed their mind at the last minute. Like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. That's normal. You guys believe it or not. That's a normal human being. However, a satanic person that is in the form of a human sent by Satan to call out his or to do his works for him, like the people above me, they do not understand not being evil. Okay. They get in their cars. You guys keep this in mind. They drive, they get in their cars. They do everything a human would do. This is all in an attempt and it works in most cases, you guys. So be careful to make you think that this is just an evil person. They're just evil. They're satanic. No, even though those people do exist, these people are demonic. You guys, Satan can make a black person five foot seven, um, haircut nice, dress nice. I'm just get, I'm, I'm just throwing some stuff out there, you guys. It could be any, you know, live above you, um, marry, got a vehicle. They leave every day. They do this. You 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 hear this, that, and the other. Smoke weed. Do all kinds of stuff. Yet that person is not even human. Okay. Okay. You, do you, you guys understand where I'm coming from? They're not even human. You're thinking they're human because they're doing all this stuff. No, they're not. No, they're not. Because there is no way on the planet. When I just, I just said it, an evil person can change their mind. There is no way on the planet using my life right now as an example that a regular human being with evil intentions, evil thoughts would let this continue to occur. I don't care how evil they are. However, flip side, someone demonic that Satan has sent will, they don't care about you. They love it that you watch that you know that 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 they're watching you rather that you know that you're being watched they love they love the whole aspect of it they're not real and i'm going to tell you something if you have money and most targeted targeted individuals don't i i admit they have they may have a job or something like that most targeted individuals do not have a lot of money and the reason for that is because one of the which is one of the reasons why they're targeted is because um uh, they're targeted because they don't have a, su a substantial amount of money like i said one of the goals to wipe you out i mean to make you dependent on people the system they don't want you to make any money because they know because of your smartness that if you had money in abundance that you would rock their world. You have enough smartness to know that you can get out of that out of that situation. You have enough smartness to know that goodness abounds, you know, and, and that that you could go somewhere else and they would not know where you are. They know that if you had money, you would move somewhere and that you would move to a place where you would not be found and you would know you would not mention where you are because you are smart to not do that. So it would take them five years in most cases if, if they wanted to pursue, but they wouldn't. Five years, they're going to leave you alone, okay? Satan knows when to drop out of the game. Not saying he's not going to come back, but he knows when to drop out of the game. Trust me.
Satan knows who we're dealing with. Who, who, you know, Satan knows even more so rather than, well, not even more so. Satan also knows who, whom we're dealing with when we're dealing with God. Trust me. He fears him. Okay. God created him. And I do apologize, you guys. I was about to starve and I pulled these chips out of my refrigerator and I'm like, I've been holding them in my hand for the last five minutes. And I'm like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> so you guys are used to me eating something while doing this, right? But let me say my prayers, even though I've already started eating. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so the people who are well done, be careful. These are the people who will end up stabbing you in the back, yet you just had a conversation with them two days ago or the day before. That was very, very nice. They will speak to you on Thursday and be very, very cordial and sweet. And then on Saturday, you will see them not knowing in most cases that they've stabbed you in the back and done something to cause harm to you, wreck your life or whatever. Like I said, these people are not necessarily demonic spirits. These people are just caught in uh, um, the middle because the demonic spirits are just evil. They're the raw people. They're evil. It's not, it's not, you know, there's no questioning. These people are, are humans, bona fide humans that are caught in the crossroad between the crossroad, um, caught in the crossroad of good and evil. Okay. A demonic spirit in the form of a human can come to them, talk to them all the time, probably can come to them and change their mind like that about you, about your situation, about anything that's dealing with you. Okay. You need to stay away from them. You need to reckon, but in order to stay away, you need to recognize them. I say all the time, if it looks like a duck and quack like a duck, guess what? It's a duck. Never thought I would be using that phrase in my life as much as I do, but I do. It's a duck, you guys. Be cordial, be yourself, be nice to them, but always know in the back of your head or question in the back of your head their intent. If they're speaking, speak. If they're being nice, be nice to them. But in other words, don't be shocked about or have any type of revelation you will initially i have to say that something it, it takes you have to find this out about people but after you find out um don't let anything in the future like that or a person like that be a shocking revelation to you always have your guard up that's why you're chosen you always have your guard up if you're an empath and targeted your guard is up you know so so don't think don't don't um empaths are not naive people um, so don't think, I didn't know, I had no clue, she fooled me. Uh, okay, well, you're not an empath because empaths are strong people and uh, they they may be thinking, they, they are, they're cordial and nice to people, but yet in the back of their head, they're waiting for that person to come forth, the true person to come forth. And, 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 and in other words, they're waiting to see what's next. Is this person really nice like this or is this person showing, uh, putting on a show as Rihanna, um, the singer? have said so clearly in one of her songs. Very entertaining, as she mentioned. But it's over now, meaning I'm still, I'm still going to be nice to you and everything. However, uh-uh. 
And from this point, anything that you do, I'm not going to be shocked about it at all. Like, oh, <laughs> that's just who sh he, he or she is moving right along. Not going to focus on it. Or better yet, I expected that from them. So, hey. And you don't have to be talking to anyone when you're when you when you when you when you're thinking this. You could just think it. Ha ha! I expected that. I was right. Oh well, I was right. Let me go on to the store. Don't let this and don't let um these people engulf engulf your thoughts. Okay. The well done people. Don't let them engulf your thoughts. And I have to say this, and even though I've been recording for a minute now, for a while, um, as far as title, I normally give a title at the beginning, but sometimes I'll do a video without a title. And I, I thought about it, but it's like, no, 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 no. Just go ahead and record. You know, no, that's not good. Just, just go ahead and record. That's the most important thing. So the video for this, for the title for this video will be. When it's posted, okay? All right? So, I just have to school you guys on that. Don't be afraid of people. Don't be afraid, but be aware. Don't be afraid, but be aware. The other A. Everyone that gets in your face is not there for your good regardless of what's coming out of their mouths. And once again, these people can be real humans or they could be just demonic spirits in the form of, of humans, okay? You will not be able to tell the difference unless you're seasoned and you've really, be, really been studying this, studying this like I have, um, you know, and, and this, that, and the other, okay? So you you will you will just think they're just evil. No, yeah, they're evil and they are uh, uh, evil people. There are evil people on the planet, but that is a did not did not uh, demonic spirit. You have to you learn to decipher the difference between the two. Is is what I'm saying. You have evil evil people and they will be here to the end of the earth and they are real humans and they're evil. However, a real human has the ability to love. A real human may have kids and take them to school every day and all that. They're just evil, evil in thoughts. You know, maybe life has dealt them a a a, a stack of cards that they don't want and they want to get back at someone and, and, and everyone that comes in their zone, they're going to do something to them or particular people. This person's smarter than I am or, oh my God, how does she know how to do that? And where does she get that from? You know, just, just all human, however, human emotions, jealousy, envy, those are human normal emotions okay it's how we were made even though um you know the bible you know the jealousy guy bible mentions um jealousy i'm sure i've never looked it up but what i'm saying is that's an emotion a human emotion the flip side of that are the people that are just plain evil now every word that comes out of their mouth is not going to be um evil there's this is when they're in thought they're thinking it because if every word came out of their mouth evil, then you would know something is truly wrong with that person and you would eventually get it that that person is demonic. So Satan is, is good at what he does. Instead of them being evil and in and, and all aspects, they're thinking it and that, that they but whatever come, whatever does exude out of their mouth is usually something uh, backstabbing, stabbing, evil, trying to get at someone, trying to get over. That's another thing on someone or whatever the case may be. And I'm going to get another thing of chips because I cannot believe I left these little crumbs off in my, um, in this can. Um, just an example. One of the things that they want to do is to get, see, you're watched, you're, if you're targeted, uh, sorry about that, that's this can hitting my phone. If you are targeted, one of the things is to watch you 24 7, seven days a week. Couldn't understand why they would get upset when I would cover up something and they're going to come in your apartment and do something else just to get, they have to see you. What you're doing. Where did you put that? 
taking a shower, eat every uh, eat any aspects of evilness. Okay, and then I thought a while back, as far as what? Okay, I get, I get it, I get it. Okay, it's either sexual or it's 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 for information or it's just it's no, it's all of them with me. I can only speak for myself. Here's the deal. The sexual part. I looked up something. Um, sex and Satan. Satan is the purveyor, purveyor of all that's evil. And therefore, Satan will send someone in your life. You've done all the research on him. He will send someone in your someone in your life to have sex with you. Now, that's not their intention. They're playing a role. They're a demonic spirit. OK, they're playing a role. And keep in mind, like I said, demonic spirits will think evil things, evil thoughts. OK. Um. And they won't say it or if, if it's a human, an actual human that is coming your life um, and you're thinking they're the ones, then Satan, they're in they're They're, they're what I called uh, um, uh, well done. They're well done people that Satan knows that are crossing the line between good and evil. And so they will send Satan will send this person. I know this for a fact. And some guys I've dated here recently, Satan will send this person in your life. Because to have sex with you, because he, you know, it's not, it just doesn't come in like you're a prostitute. They don't just come in and let's have sex, but they will send this person in your life to have a relationship with you according to what you like in a man and what you want in a man or a woman for that matter. And what will happen is um, they're going to have sex with you, um, sexual gratification, because that is, is really Satan. Um, uh, um, sexual desires okay satanic sexual desires okay and so when you're making love to this person you're thinking you're really making love to them but really you're making love to to the uh, demonic spirit the evil or or the evil person it's a way of of you know something that god gave to us satan uses it for his sexual gratification <clears throat> okay excuse me if you guys can get deep into that you know you're having sex with someone and it's normal it's love okay 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 and you may think you love this person whether they're a human or a demonic spirit because they they play a role trust me the demonic spirits that's what they're sent here to do play a role i'm talking past academy award winning okay they would win all of the awards because they're great actors and actresses. Okay. So when it comes to sexual desires and things like that and having sex, these people, if not a regular, normal human being, you know, um, over-processed or whatever human being, then, or, or just a regular, um, 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 well-done person, a well-done person. It does not keep in mind a well-done person is straddling the fence. Okay. Keep that in mind, you guys. A well-done person straddles the fence. One day they're evil, one day they're good, but they are 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 used. They are human. Okay, contradictory to what I just said about sexual desires. These people, well, not contradictory. It's just two two different things. Okay, these people are evil one day, good two days, and evil another day. You know, you know the process. But as far as sexual desires, Satan knows when you're lonely, or not not lonely, but alone. Please know that it's two different things. Satan knows when you're using your vibrator that you wish. Excuse me, let me go ahead and chew a little more. Hold on. Okay. Satan knows that when you use your vibrator that you are having sexual desires. And so he will send someone in your life to fulfill that. Now that you're wanting, you don't, you're okay with being alone, okay? And you don't even feel like you're lonely. But we have sexual desires. We're human. And so if you're using your vibrator, something I was doing, and I don't mind you guys knowing, I keep it real. One of the things I was doing at my last apartment was using my vibrator. Never revealed that to anyone until right now as I'm speaking. They knew I was using it. They were right there watching. 
every exotic moment of it. Thus the sexual reason why one of one of the sexual reasons why I'm being stalked. Addition in addition to that, when I shaved my vagina in my bathtub and I had my leg propped up on the bathtub, I'm I'm in the shower, but my leg, my foot is propped up on the bathtub and I'm shaving my vagina. I mean, everything's just open, just in the raw. No reference to the raw people I mentioned. But you know, just you're just doing what a woman does. Sexual. And because of these things, I turned some idiots or idiot or idiots on. Now you know. Who, because they were watching me, want to see more. I caught on though, however, making it very difficult for them to see these things. Okay? But they have money. Money equals Pursue. There are people on the planet, you guys, who have so much money, you guys, I'm not joking. Most people who have money know how to keep it and keep abreast of it. I'm talking about money. I'm not talking about you got $100,000 in your bank account. I'm talking about money. And these people know they have expendable cash. They know they can get what they want, do what they want. They have jet jet planes they have yachts they have all kinds of stuff they oil industry um from another country they have money to spend and if it's something that they want they know from their normal life that they can get what they want in most cases me they can't so i'm a challenge okay very much a challenge i have let it be well known that if i could cut their penis off i would Pisses them off, but also a turn on people who have money like this do not like to hear the words. No, the word. No, I said words word. No, saying no to them is is going to heighten their senses, sense of whom they are and their money. It's just going to go to a heightened level. They cannot accept that there's someone on the planet telling them no. Too bad. And I eat my chips. This kind of individual, if they have, excuse me, let me chew a little bit. If this person had access to you, you would be kidnapped. Ding! Keep up with me, the blue cup in the attic, you guys. You would be kidnapped. Oh, gosh. And the money that would be paid to have you land right there on their floor in the flesh could go into the millions, you guys. I kid you not. They will pay millions to have you in their presence to be able to do to you what they want to do to you. Okay, to perform sexual things with you and on you. All right. So those are the three types. Raw people, totally satanic. No, no questioning it. These are usually your just totally evil humans or totally evil demonic spirits. Then you have. Well done people. They don't know, you know, they don't, they know, but these are the people that are crossed between good and evil. And then you have overprocessed people. These are us. These are your, if you're watching this and you're one of, one of us, these are your empaths and are targeted individuals. All right. So this is Kimmy Wyatt. Now, you know, you know what I'm looking at right now? I'm sitting in a chair facing my back door. Blinds are kind of up like way past halfway. There's an individual who has just driven up. I'm facing another building. In other words, the parking lot and the building of another building. Okay. The parking lot and the building. The individual, individual just drove up, up in front of my window. Now, once again, they're not in front literally of my window, but they're in front of my view. I'm recording. They hear every word I'm saying. 
They're not getting out. They're not even in a parking spot. They just pulled up lights on. The sun's going down. Now that I've moved, they're leaving. Satan, you guys. Demonic spirits, rather. Demonic spirits can drive, brush their teeth, do anything that a regular human being being can do. Please don't get it twisted. That would be too obvious if if Satan sent a demonic person and all of them couldn't drive. It would be too obvious if Satan sent a demonic spirit, rather, and, and the demonic spirit did not brush his teeth. The demonic spirit did not eat. They are human form in all aspects. Genitals, everything. Genitalia, excuse me, let me say it right. Well, you can say genitals. Genitalia, I prefer. Yeah. And so this is how you get fooled. Because you're thinking it's just an evil person. Or they can't be like that all the time. No, if you're an empath, you're going to recognize. <laughs> you're going to know right off. No, that that that's not... I mean, and, and, and my, let me say this. Empaths do not go around saying that's not a human. That's a demonic spirit. Okay, that's a human that, you know, pointing the finger at people and, and trying to see who's human, who's demonic. No, they don't. They just know that these people, these things and these people do exist on the planet. They're aware of it. No problem. They don't sit there, like I said, just thinking about it all the time. It is what it is. They know it and they get over it. Real quick. Huh? That's a... That's a such and such and such. Okay. All right. They're not real. They don't go telling people. That's a demonic spirit. They don't. They, it is what it is with them. With us. I know. I know people around me because of their actions. No one can be this evil. I'm saying this. I'm talking about God. I'm doing this and this and this. A normal person would think twice and say, you know what? I got to stop doing this. But even after everything I've said or say in a particular day, this these people will still pick up that equipment and follow me around, especially the people. Um, well, I'm not going to point fingers. I'm going to leave that alone. But the people who have access to the wall, not the ceiling, they have access to the walls, too. But I mean, wall per per perps, the wall perps. P.E.R.P.S. OK. Wall perps. Yeah. So you guys just be careful. Um, spiritual warfare. Been going on forever, but it's even more so here now. Um, and um, it is. It is. Just, just roll with it. Just live your life normally like you always have been. But maybe just, just, well, don't do that. Just be more aware. Okay. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm opening up. <laughs> these are these are canned chips, just like a brand that has the, the chips in the can. You guys know who I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, so I have to take the little um, insert off to keep them fresh. Okay, so I'm going to go, you guys. Um, if you have questions, please post them below. If you uh, want to comment... Please comment below. Like I said, please join the YouTube channel because um, there's more to come for me. I'm not going to let this go. They could have chosen. They should have chosen a totally different person than choosing messing with me. And I've said that seems like a million times. But once again, with you, this is all organized crime. Targeting is organized crime. If someone wants to see you, they're getting paid. Um, they've been making money off of you. They're going to continue to make that money. It's easy money, they think, especially if the targeted individual um, is unaware that they are being even targeted. Okay. All right. Takes about two to three years for you to recognize um, on average that you're being targeted because you're going to see things happening that is, or that's abnormal. They're happening too often. You go here, here comes someone doing this again. Uh, someone's following you, stalking. You know, all this goes together. Stalking, targeted individuals, spying, empaths. Um, 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 group stalking rather and, and, and gang stalking, electronic stalking. These are your microwaves and refrigerators and things they will plant the high tech cameras in and you don't even have a clue. Your stove and oven, 
You don't even have a clue these, this equipment is even in the stove. And like, I'm going to say it again, and I don't care. Most times, um, this is from someone who has access to your place. This is just targeted individuals usually live in apartments, okay, in most cases. Or they live in a home that have has had multiple people to live there, maybe a rent home, and they're being targeted because someone at some point point came in that home to fix something in that home, maybe the walls, and that person took advantage of the situation and um, placed cameras in the walls and then fixed the walls to make it make them seem normal. Okay. So, Wi-Fi cameras. <laughs> you know, speaking of Wi-Fi cameras before I go. Depending on where I slept the night before, my neighbors will make sure that they park their vehicle in that same spot that's co that corresponds to where I'm sleeping <laughs> in my apartment. For instance, I sleep all over my apartment. I just told you guys earlier, I, I, sleep, I was sleeping in my closet. Whether on the floor, first time I've slept in a chair though, in the closet. It's sad that a person would have to do this, but it is what it is and I'm not ashamed of it. I have to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm human. Um, if I sleep in the closet in my bedroom, one bedroom apartment, <laughs> two is two is two two sets. I say sets because boot up. Two sets of perps are gonna make sure that their vehicles are adjacent or parallel to where I'm sleeping. Okay, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Okay, their vehicle. Why, why are you parking your vehicle there when you don't even live? You know what I'm saying? You you live in an area that common sense would tell you to park it somewhere else. Now, now that's just for one of them. Not not both of not 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 both sets. The other one. I can understand, even though I know what they're doing, I can understand, you know, because of their position in the building, why they would park, you know, somewhere um, where they do. But, uh, but, but trust me, I, I know um, you just, you would have to be here. So I'm going to go. Hasta la vista. Buenos aires. Buenos noches. Arriba dolce. Au revoir. Salida. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Chao, Bela. Chao, Belo. Got to go. Smooches. And didn't say this earlier. If you would like to send donations, I appreciate it in advance. I really do need them. I'm not a beggar. Never been that type of person, but I am aware that this cause the, the, that I'm going through, the things that I'm going through, um, I can't do this alone. Okay. Not right now in my life. So um, any donations that you can send, I really, really do appreciate um, the donations and donations and they will be used very well. Okay. Um, I don't care if it's $2. I thank you in advance. If you can't send any, anything, keep me in your thoughts and prayers. And if you're sending a donation, keep me in your thoughts and prayers, okay? Um, and and I do appreciate that. Um, so also, I have 34, formerly 33 collections on a Google platform. Please uh, scroll down where the text is and click the link for those collections. You can follow each collection right there. Or you can click a collection to see what I've posted thus far and follow, okay? If you choose to do so. And um, I do have uh, one of my collections called um, You Like It, Buy It. Um, there's a You Like It, Buy It playlist also on YouTube. And um, in that collection, I will be featuring my own hair care products, skin care products, um, as well as candies and cookies and things I'm coming up with. So please join um, either, either or both of those. I will say... Um, YouTube has the videos. So <laughs> as you know, so there you go. Um, and, and the other one has the pictures. So I highly suggest that you do both. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Be careful out there. You guys be careful and stay away from people that are in disbelief that it's happening to you. I'm going to tell you, they're going to stress you out. Uh, part of Satan's plan. They're going to stress you out more than, than the perps could ever do. They're going to stress you out because these are people that are supposed to love you and, 
and et cetera, people you know, and yada, 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 and they're going to stress your butt out. So please stay away from them until you can get to a place of peace. If that means moving, I do have um, within the Blue Cup in the Attic playlist, there is a video uh, about and it's called how to um, the drastic move, how to move without dot, 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 how to move without a trace. Let me say that that again, the drastic move dot, 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 how to move without a trace. OK, and I've since done a video that with a different title that talks about some things that I left out um, in that video. OK. All right. Smooches.